Live, we live. Okay. Oh, freeze. Always freezes. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Call him up from the bullpen, coach. Brandon's ready. Ninth inning. We got to get him in there. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, dog. Ooh, the NFL is devouring itself, which means the ratings are down. They are tanking. And what'd they go do? So my favorite coach of all time under the bus. Yes, that is John Gruden. No, I'm not a Raider fan. Always well, been a lowly Charger fan. San Diego, San Diego Charger fan, by the way. Yes, my powder blue. That's why I got my powder blue on tonight. That's as close as I had. Close enough. And they went ahead and stole that from me. I wanted that lightning bolt for other reasons. But with that being said, the NFL's devouring themselves, and now we can get a clear shot right into that, right into that organization. <laughs> As they are, this is what happens with cancel culture. Because when Trumpy Bear stepped aside, they didn't have nothing to attack. And so now it's just, it's every man for themselves, and you can see it. And you can see it. Let's get into it, all right? Happy October 12, 2021. You know what I'm talking about. Mm. Salute. Let's get into it. All right. Let's do this. Messing with my John Gruden. Love me some John Gruden. I knew something was funky. There's a video. I don't remember the name of it. I was talking about something's going. Oh, when they were talking about the first stadium came out was the Vegas Stadium. And they're talking about all this, you know, requirements for the juice. I knew something was up. I said, maybe they're going to win the Super Bowl. I was looking at it. But I was like, something might be more sinister than that. And now it's coming. I knew something. I got a video back there. Go look at it. I was talking about it. I said, they might just win the Super Bowl. But it looks like who knows what. I ain't, I don't know. I just knew something was weird when they were the first stadium to come out looking like a looking like Darth Vader's helmet, you know, out of out of Vegas. And we all know what that is, the land of the but it's you know, whatever. So anyway, the NFL is desperate. All right. They must be desperate for ratings. ESPN must be desperate for ratings because they're they're it's they're falling off. We have all kinds of alternative media. They actually kicked off my favorite person in the world to listen to, Anomaly, off of live feeds. Anomaly, get your ass on Rumble. With that being said, that's all I got to say about that. Um, um, and <laughs> we could just, see, but with that being said, yeah, you, you, <laughs> we can see the tyranny. That's why I've been coding my words like "Let's go, Brandon." Don't say the other word. Say that. "Let's go, Brandon." <laughs> Code. We got to speak in code. That's why I love my Elvis Levy. You actually start looking into some of these books over here. Elvis Levy talks about why uh, a lot of the uh, uh, esoteric doctrines are written in um, uh, analogies. Because we have to. Because the same attack that's been coming in centuries after centuries, they don't understand the code. The analogies are the code. They don't get it. They're like, no, we told you to say this. And yeah, they don't, they don't understand. And you're going to start to look at some of your friends and family and they just don't get it. They're just like, no, no, we, we told you to say this and you're just not saying it. And, you're, and then, and then they, they trigger you. And it's like today I had, a, I had a post and I said this very clever post. And I was, I was talking about like that movie Major League from back in the 80s or 90s. And, and I was talking about uh, put me in coach. I'm ready to play. Let's go, Brandon. Because, you know, wild thing, you know, all that. Charlie Sheen and all that whole scene. So it was a whole clever joke. And then one guy was just like. His response was Trump, and it was a black dude. I don't know if he's a black dude. He's a, probably a bot, but he just he posted one comment that said Trump. And I was like, what the hell does that have to do anything? You guys won. You, you, <laughs> you have the president, right? Sleepy Joe, he's there. You got Kamala, and, and then that was his response. And I was just like, I just triggered him. That was it. That was his tri- But that was him trying to trigger me. He like threw a mind out there. I was like, oh, man, no imagination. And that's why we speak in analogies. Let's go, Brandon. You get it now? You'll get it in the future. Um, so with that being said, I just wanted to know the score, actually, because I'm not going to lie. I've been boycotting sports, but I still got to take a little peek in because, you know, I'm a big football fan, uh, big sports fan. So I just want to take a peek in. What I see, Keyshawn Johnson with his big ass, 
No, his little ass head. Keyshawn, yo, you, how you got a little ass head and a big ass bottom half? That's the weirdest looking. Look at, I got a big old dome, you know. Stuff's happening. I ain't trying to, but Keyshawn got like a little head. He, he, you know what, Keyshawn? Your head is shaped like a damn Coke bottle. You know what I mean? It got this whole body, and at the top, it just, it's like the Coke bottle. Just Keyshawn Johnson got a Coke bottle head. Keyshawn, shut up with your Coke bottle head. You know what I'm saying? And I probably would hang out with Keyshawn, have a good time. But nah, you come out with your hater ass. Now I'm starting, we starting to see, what we're starting to see is the rats are leaving the boat. They was comfortable in that boat, and now they're starting to leave the boat. They're starting to look at the water on the floor. You know, at first they were like, nah, ain't no water on the floor. We chilling, they eating, they eating dinner and steaks and everything, you know, like the Titanic. They, everything's eating. But now they're starting to be like, hey, man. There's water on the floor, dog. So they starting to bail everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And this all starts. I'm going to go back to that Colin Kaepernick. See that, Colin? See why you got your ass whipped? That's right. Ray Lewis and them Ravens and them Crows took your ass out. I made a lot of money that day. Thanks to all those patrons. Served a bunch of buffalo wings. The, the fact that that Super Bowl went out for like 30 minutes or an hour, I was able to serve everybody. And when it came back, I watched the Super Bowl. So whatever. <laughs> Just a coincidence. Serendipity, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Colin Kaepernick. Oh, by the way, Colin. Colin. Yeah, I'm done with Colin Kaepernick's dumbass. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, just remember one thing. Cancel culture always turns on itself. And that's where we're at right now. Co cancel culture will always devour itself. After they've canceled everything, they're going to come around and cancel themselves. Always remember that in the chron chronology or the documents or whatever you want to do in the history, everything, they will always cancel themselves because eventually they will double cross and tri triple cross and do all that. You know, I've dated so many psychotic women and crazy ass women and witches and whatever that brujas, whatever you want to call them, that I've realized that at one point they will eventually show themselves and demask, deveil, whatever, and cancel themselves out. And that's just what it's going to be because there's nothing left. But to just, you know, eventually in the end, with cancel culture, they these people hate themselves. And they want to just sit back and, and look at us, fight amongst each other. And then when we just break apart, and this is what it is with Southwest, and I said Southwest stand-up, when you just uh, get away from it, when you just say no more, what's going on? It's probably just the homeless dude walking the street, the dogs, you hear them barking, that's all it is, something like that. But anyway, when you hear... Uh, the uh, cancel culture, and when you see the cancel culture attacking everybody, when they have nothing left to attack, they attack themselves, and that's all it is. It's like dating, a, you know, your your girlfriend. You just leave, and she starts throwing all this desperate crap because she just she doesn't know what to do with herself, and then you just see her leech onto some other dude, and you're like, oh my god. Or just sometimes you're like walking down the street, and you see that crazy woman with an argument with her or man or whatever is arguing, and you're just like, oh my god. Thank goodness I'm not involved in that. <laughs> you can hear the words that's coming out of the car or wherever they're either yelling you're just like oh my but those some of those people just love it it's just round and round and round and round but the thing is with this democratic party and all these crazy people like alc and all that i've always said this trump was the lightning rod he was the lightning rod and they came with the lightning their power and sometimes when you are the lightning rod you have to take the brunt and that's why it's so funny his name is trump because they took the brunt well without him they didn't know where to go and I said this before, and I was a little tipsy in the car reading, but Trump was like the lightning rod. And when you take away the lightning rod, the lightning just bounces everywhere. And that's where you have the, the, the downfall of the cancel culture because they don't know where to go. And right now, the rats are fleeing the ship in the NFL and the sports because the ratings are tanking. Everything's going down. And they threw one of the greatest uh, coaches that I, I love. This dude, dude. If you really start looking into John Gruden's history, he started under Andy Reid. He's been he's been there, done that. His son is the. Dude, I I don't even. I'm not even going into that. This ain't even. I'm just saying. So with that being said, Gruden, you're the beginning of the NFL throwing themselves under the bus because ESPN, homie, you were the the Monday Night King. You were the Monday Night King. You were the and you you gave it up to go back into the. The, the 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 league to try to like build some and they threw you under the bus dog 
But what a powerful weapon you could be when you start speaking up. And that's what they're worried about. They're worried about R. Kelly. Let's get real. These people are worried about R. Kelly. R. Kelly's talking. He's doing like 25 to life. He got... And that's what it really comes down to. And that's why you got Randy Moss's ass out there talking about... You know who Randy Moss? Let's talk about this. How'd you pay for that fine, Randy? Straight cash money, dog. Oh, he got a lot to hide. That's why he's out there with them crocodile tears. No, they ain't crocodile. He's, he's them, them real tears. That's why you got Keyshawn. They throwing you under the bus, dog. And that's my clear foom onto you. I can see it now. Whoop. This goes deep. This rabbit go hole goes deep. And the NFL is starting to devour themselves. So you better knuckle up and buckle up because it's going to be a hell of a ride. Hell of a show when R. Kelly starts popping off. Can you imagine? This dude is, is looking at 25 to life. And they're like, Kelly... Give us some names, man. Give it, he's done. He's already been convicted. He's, he's not sentencing is not till May of 2022. But they're looking at him. They're like, Kelly, give us some names, man. You thought Epstein got Epstein. Our Kelly might get Epstein. And that's what it is. And this is what my whole point is. They're trying to get ahead of it. Throw Groot under the bus. I knew something was up when they came and they said, oh, this brand new, beautiful stadium looked like Darth Vader's helmet in Vegas was the first ones to require uh, the jab just to enter the building. And you're talking about the most loyal fan base that I've ever seen, that I've ever seen, because I'm on the West Coast. I've never really, well, no, I've witnessed some, the, the, it's, it, we know who it is, all right? It's, it's, it's the Raiders, it's uh, the, the, the Boston Red Sox, and it's the Yankees. Those are the most loyal crazy people and, and and let's say kansas city and all them they all fall in liners and minnesota so but let's we know but with that being said they're trying to get ahead of something they're trying to get ahead of something all right because now it's starting to come to the point where espn's ratings must be taken and now it's over the target and to to throw gruden out there and all these emails you can see it now, and it's just so sorry that they, they that I went to try to just basically check, like, who won the game today on Monday Night Football, and all this hit me. And you got to understand, I'm boycotting it all. I just was like, well, who won the Monday Night Football game? Was it the Giants or was it the Cowboys? And then all this Gruden's fired, he's stepping down, whatever, whatever. They're exposed. They're fragile. They're vulnerable. And they're going to eat themselves. And I said this in a card reading a long time ago. Get ready for it. They're going to eat themselves. I had a, a, a card of a swan, and they got stabbed three times. And I said, get ready for it. They will eventually eat themselves. And now it's happening. So knuckle up, buckle up, dig into your savings. Um, airlines, we've seen what's going on there. So, wow, this is going to be a crazy couple of months. So uh, let's get into it. All right, with that being said, I'm done here. I'm going to go check out what InfoWars got to say because I've already said enough. And let's see what happens tomorrow because this wild ride, this wild uh, rabbit hole that we're going down ain't going to stop. All right. We at the beginning. All right. So get ready. Knuckle up, buckle up. Let's do this. With that being said, I want to say salute because everything's going to be cool. Chill. I think there's a, a, I've always said this. I've seen this in my card readings. There's a harvest coming everything's coming the information just needed to be dripped out slow because people are asleep and they're barely waking up and they just want to conform and everybody just wants to go back to normal and go back to watch the nfl but you're seeing randy moss crying and, and you know randy moss has passed if you if you're a football fan and you know you know all this stuff and this stuff's going to be leaked out you got r kelly got but nine eight months before his sentencing what do you think he's going to be talking about peace out I believe I can fly.